Well, guys, things have just gone from six to eight months to, I don't know, worse. Um, I'm so angry right now I could spit fire, but I'm going to give myself a couple days to calm down and figure out how I'm going to sort out this mess. The drug Brentuximab Vidotin has been denied to me, not only by the Canadian government, but by the pharmaceutical company who makes it. The doctors have been trying their best to get this drug, which will give me six to eight months once I start using it. I don't know how much time I'll have if I don't start using it, because that drug is the only drug that I responded to so well when I was going through my chemotherapy with it to get into remission to have my transplant. Anyways, the reason that it won't be... Um, approved by Health Canada is because it costs tens of thousands of dollars per dose and they're treating my GVHD with it on top of my cancer but there's no evidence to suggest that it will help with the GVHD so they need science-based evidence before they're going to shell out the money to the pharmaceutical company for the for the drug so they've just denied it and so then the doctors contacted the pharmaceutical company to see if they would do a compassionate um, like an ethical, compassionate um, contribution so that I could live off of this until I, until, until I can't anymore. And they said no. So I don't have this drug. There's all this red tape. It's stuck around. And I don't know what I'm going to do. But I know I'm not going anywhere. And I know that I'm going to live to see my, my niece and my nephew both grow up to be outstanding adults. That's the goal now, right? The wedding is off the table. I know I'll get there, but the goal now is to see my niece and my nephew grow into outstanding adults, and I know they're going to be. But without this drug, I don't know how much time I have left. It's six to eight months with the drug. I don't know how much without. So I'm angry, and um, I don't know whether to start some fires on social media or if I go down the route of, God, I'm so dry, I'm sorry, guys, my mouth. Or to go down the route of, sometimes you can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. Um, so I'm giving myself, until Halloween is over at least, to figure out what I'm going to do. And um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh. But guess who's taken over the Halloween party planner, planner position at the hospital? Of course, me. So um, on a lighter note, um, I've decided that the planning party is going to have a theme of COVID wood. Come dressed as your favorite celebrity from Hollywood, uh, director or I don't know, um, character whatever you want to dress as from hollywood in your protective gear it's hollywood with a twist it's covid wood is our theme so that's that that's the that's that that's the light news that's what i've uh i've come up with and i'm gonna well some of you already will already know what i'm dressing up as but i i really this this whole drug thing Life is just throwing hurdles at me, left, right, and center, and I don't know what to do about it. So leave your comments, leave your ideas. Um, if you know who I should write to, if you know anybody, you know, starting a petition or anything like that, please just put it in the comments and I will get to it after Saturday. Thank you. Um, the drug costs tens of thousands of dollars per dose, not for the entire treatment. I would go fund me it, but I don't think I can raise that kind of money. Anyways, um, I'll figure it out. Sorry for the bad news. It's just the way it is. Over and out.